Hi, welcome to a little talk about science. I'm Tracy from Nature's Heart. I'm a registered aromatherapist and a healing pathfinder. I help women find their path to healing through aromatherapy, earth medicine, and art. Today I wanted to talk about science because I love science. Um, one thing that you might not know about me is I studied science in the university. It's really important to me and it's a way for me to understand the world around me. It helps to give a little bit of structure and order to a world that can sometimes seem a little bit chaotic or even random. Science gives that little bit of, of structure for me. So when we talk about science with respect to aromatherapy, it's probably pretty clear how that, um, how that plays in. I'm going to talk about the, the key points for me. The first one is chemistry. And often we hear people say that essential oils are safe because they're natural. And it's true that essential oils are natural because they're derived from plants. They're still chemicals and there's always, there's always some risk involved when we're dealing with chemicals, whether they're naturally derived or synthetic. So essential oils come from plants and they contain a number of chemical constituents or chemical components. So it's important for us as professional aromatherapists to have an understanding of chemistry as it applies to what these chemicals within the essential oils are. Um, what do they do? How do they work? And how does our body react to them? How does our body interact with these chemical constituents? That's an area of study called pharmacokinetics. And it talks about what happens when these chemicals from the essential oils go into our body. When we put them on our skin or inhale them, they do enter into our bloodstream. So what does our body do? How does it process them? How are these chemicals metabolized within our body? Sometimes these chemicals can be metabolized by our body and can actually be altered or turned into other chemicals. Um, sometimes the sp specific chemicals can be altered and can end up in specific areas of the body um, depending on the chemical. So it's important that we understand this aspect of chemistry as it relates to the chemicals within our essential oil. We're also dealing with synergy and a synergy just means that we are creating um, a blend. So we're taking a number of, of essential oils and we're mixing them and blending them together to create one new oil. Um, and we call this a blend. We call it a synergy because the whole is actually greater than the sum of the parts. So we could use each individual oil. They have a stronger, more beneficial effect when we blend them together and create this synergy. We're creating a synergy of scent and we're also creating a synergy of the chemicals. All these chemicals are now contained in this one blend. So we've created a, a new scent, but we've also cre created a new chemical composition, which is really a fascinating piece of what we do as professional aromatherapists. The other thing that, of course, we work with is biology in the form of botany. Um, plants create these essential oils as secondary metabolites. The primary me metabolic system for plants is photosynthesis, and that gives them everything that they need, all the foods um, and, and components that they need to exist, and it gives us oxygen. So it's the secondary metabolites is what, what essential oils are considered. Um, and these are things that come out of either protection or communication um, with other plants or other, other creatures such as insects. So these essential oils um, come from this botanical process and we extract them to create these essential oils. Um, so that's a fascinating part as well, just understanding the botany. What are the plants? How do they live? How do they exist? What do they do in order to give us these essential oils that we work with? The other piece that we work with is physics, and primarily quantum physics. Here we're dealing with vibrational energy. Many of us, when we're working with essential oils, can sense quality and can also sense um, the vibration of how is this going to feel in our body, um, which helps to, to inform us when we're working with clients. It helps to inform us how is that going to, um, how is that going to feel in the body, looking at, of course, the chemistry as well, but vibrationally, how is, that going to, uh, how is that going to affect our body? So physics also plays into, into what we do. 
Another piece of science that is not directly connected with aromatherapy but is important to me is neuroscience. And this is a growing field. There seems to be new information coming out almost daily about um, neuroscience and how our brain works. And I'm particularly interested in the connection between language and our brain. So how do we um, take in the information from our world and then we use language to label it which provides us with information and creates an experience for us. So in using the language we can actually work with our thoughts and as a, as a healer, a holistic healer, I work with all four levels of the body. So I'm working with physical, mental, emotional and spiritual and often this neuroscience is connected to our mental body and we often find things like limiting thoughts or dis lim limiting decisions um, or old patterns of behavior that no longer serve us. So by working with the language, we can actually affect the neurology of our brain and change our thoughts. And this is important, particularly when we're working with how we speak to ourselves, the words that we use when we're, when we're speaking with ourselves with ourselves. So this piece, this neuroscience is an important piece for me and, and it's something that I'm continuing to learn about as particularly as this, as this area of science grows. So, very brief overview of science and how it plays into aromatherapy. And as I spoke to last week when I talked about values, science is one of the, the pillars, the key parts and key pieces for me, the foundational pieces of, of my practice at Nature's Heart. So I'm curious how you feel about science. In my house daily, we have conversations about how much I love science and other people in my house don't necessarily see it the same way. So I'm curious how you feel about science. Is it something that fascinates you? Is it something that is important in your world? And how does it show up for you? Um, so again, I'm Tracy from Nature's Heart. You can find me online at www.naturesheart.ca and of course here on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.